five pills in everything. You can barely get the dopamine. Okay? Okay? And you're gonna get blast of dopamine from the receptors. Bang. Okay? Minute. What we're doing is we're giving you precursor that makes makes dopamine tyrosine. Tyrosine. Also the effect of serotonin in the system. This is basically we're giving you 5 HTT and L trip So we build up the serotonin. And chromium. So we got three ways of building up the serotonin. What is it? And chromium chromium. So we call it the it's a trace metal. But it, what it does it causes the L trip in your blood and changes the pop alteration. That's how people make all the brain. I forgot to make this well, that was the that Then we throw in the right here. Then we throw in the This is for the This is for the This is for the Then we throw the vesicles with all tyrosine. So it's like saying, the brain And then when the is released, the rhodiola inhibits catechism of the transfers. So what we do, look, it's a, none of this, none of this is so powerful that you're getting a flood of dopamine. You're just getting an increased chance to release the dopamine that's sitting in the vesicles that is there naturally. Or you increase it somewhat with your time shift, and then you get it. Then you don't, you get it in a slow way that doesn't give you down like It's not like taking a cocaine. It's not like taking a cocaine. It's not like taking a cocaine. Well, well, certainly the brain goes, okay, when you get too much, too much dopamine floating around, there's a negative feedback onto the post ganglionic you know, sites, okay, says, Let's cut down the D2 receptors. Now, there's studies you may have not know by a guy named Harry Mallon. In 1995, Harry's group showed that if you take a kidney cell, suspected kidney cell, where you would get D2 receptors expressed, you can go in the crypto and you can increase the number of D2 receptors. Uh, if, it, if, it, if you're not making the system, okay, over two weeks slowly, okay, so we think, we think, we don't know, that what we're doing with the synaptics is that we're slowly releasing dopamine, making it more natural, we get the A1 on the it's telling the brain, you know what, we get it, let's, let's increase it. Not a receptor. <laughs> and then at the end, you get more compliments to the true receptor. Now, we're going to be doing a pet scan to prove that. We don't have the answer. Do you have any kind of, um, as far as your actions are concerned, do you have any other drug that affects the brain? You know, well, you know what? That's a good thing. I haven't seen it. There's, a, there's one drug, it's a big one. It's the one they're using in nicotine addiction. I just reviewed a paper and they said that they got an increase in DT receptors. So, in, in my opinion, Shantrix and Coplio and all the cannabinoid B1 receptor blockers screw it up because they don't cause. Don't be released, they block them. So you end up with a way of just affecting, you know, your use of, of drugs, which affects them to extinction. It's the same thing with the lux with our tracks. I did a lot of that. Original, okay? But for me to say, is that really the way to go? In the field, no. Because what are you doing? You're just blocking. It's just blocking a site that is intended to give you a 
and you end up with the suicide. This is not good. So that's completely. So now, all of hope of, you know, she's realizing that you need to increase the two receptors in order to reduce your pain. But you gotta do it with something that's gonna slow you do it. We think right now, I don't know anything. No, we're getting close. Once we show. I'd really like to see this too in response to um, <laughs> Well, let me tell you something. We did it. We did it already. We're ready for the data. But I'll tell you, we are doing, we're going to be doing a big experiment with weight, with weight, with weight, with weight, with weight, with weight, We're going to have three different queuing paradigms and we're going to buzz the genes and we're going to look at the milkshakes and we're going to see whether and then we're going to put synaptos and see if it truly reduces queuing craving because if we can show that if it reduces craving now we might have it already in this effort in this effort of our study they're working on it we might have it but if we if and when we get it you know and it double bond of placebo controlled study, you know, what else could you do? How much more could you do? Yeah. That would be pretty good, right? Yeah. 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 Thank you very much for being here. That's great. Ryan? That's great. Ryan Bob. Yes. Would you like me to get the paper? I would love you if you get the paper. I would love you to get the paper. Thanks, man. Nice to see you. Good luck. All right.